Hello everybody and welcome to our first uh, broadcast of our new upcoming game which we are very excited to tell you about today. My name is Alex and I'm from Deadcraft Games which is an international game development studio with several offices in Russia and Eastern Europe. And here is Alexander Maya, my very good friend and one of the activists of the local gaming and game development community. And today we will describe you our game, talk about it a little bit, showcase a few things from it and of course we will be glad to answer all your questions. So why are we doing this right now and right here is uh, the reason is that the game will have major features dedicated especially to broadcasters that will make it much more interesting for you and for people who are watching you play in this game. So uh, what I wanted to tell you and everybody else like watching us is that there are very certain reasons why we are making this game as it is. Cube Metrics is a game we've been wanting to make like from a very long time. First of all, because we are all really obsessed by MMORPGs. <laughs> and this is a game which is 100% MMORPG classical one. And we wanted to bring this experience that you have already been playing like, you know, for ages with like World of Warcraft, Lion Age, whatever. Whoa, for ages. So this is, you know, big. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the big idea was that, you know, there are some MMORPGs on mobile, but the problem is because of performance, because of many technical issues, well, it's really hard to bring this experience directly to the mobile. And what we've been trying to achieve for several years from a technical point of view is actually to create a product that will be able to run really massive scenes with hundreds of players on one location fighting or cooperating simultaneously. Right. And that's what I believe we managed to achieve. Our current tests for a long time show a very good performance on mobile devices like iPhone 5 with 100 players per scene which is like, you know, what we, what we wanted to see there always. So, I believe we have achieved pretty much in this field. And that's where we want to keep going and bring real MMO experience, because we just love it. Because we want to make not just a game, but we want it to be really persistent in uh, all aspects. So, when we decided, okay, we don't have any other choice, but to deliver a game, which will be in cubicle style. Right. right. So there should be some reason for that, not just from technical point of view, right. from artistical point of view, but there should be reasoning for that in the game itself. Right. Exactly. So the legend and you know the entire mythology of this world is built around cubes, nice. cubical gods. But the core idea of this world is. <laughs> I want to play it. Okay, go. Yes. Uh, so the core idea of the world is that everything, including creatures, our character. All the objects like trees, stone and everything is created of the cubes that are basically containers of life and right, in nice. a way. So everything can be combined, anything can be disrupted Whoa. and built again. Uh, one of the major things uh, that we wanted to bring into this game was building your own very own place. Nice. Where you can, you know, develop your character, develop the fort itself, improve everything around you and of course, end up as a greatest real estate owner around. And that's okay, so the game is going to be free to play, isn't it? Definitely. So available on App, on App Store for, for Apple devices, isn't it? Uh, first of all, it will be released for both Android and iOS devices. Nice, okay. Like phones, tablets, and yeah. basically the what we can say for sure right now right. is that it will be performing well enough, I mean totally fine, no okay. problem. On all the devices that are compatible, comparable to iPhone 5 mm -hmm. or Samsung Galaxy S4. Right. So, so not the top new devices, but you know. There's so sort of a backwards compatibility when it comes to good performance. Exactly. Right. Exactly. So any better newer devices will have like no problem with it at all. Nice. Ever. Nice. But what about, for example, what about sharing on social media and so on, since the game is free to play and it's basically on App Store, it will be on App Store and Google Play Store, so what's the sort of say, social integration for this game? Well, again, when we are going to MMORPGs, they are a social world inside of them. Yeah, okay. In the first place. Of course, we will have some social mechanics that allow you to, you know, call for your friends, call for their help, invite them, or vice versa, whatever. Right. But the main social integration is inside the game, so like you can see here, 
you have your friends, you have your guild, you can send gifts inside the so game. So why itself. bother with with traditional traditional social media, right? It's not like not bother. It's because the MMORPGs and this game in particular right. have a lot to offer inside of it. So much that you can hardly bring it anywhere outside. My name is uh, Martinez, and I want to talk about three major features uh, specifically for Twitch broadcasters. Right. Okay? So uh, first, depending on the number of viewers, you can get a special promo code to distribute to your viewers. So this way you have something to give back to you know, people that are watching you play. Uh, the second feature is that you'll be able to log into the game and mm -hmm. uh, connect your Twitch account directly for an immediate special buff. And finally, the third feature is that there's going to be a way where your viewers can vote for a buff that you, the streamer, will get in game. And the way this works is that uh, from time to time, your viewers are going to get an in-game chat that allows them to vote for a buff. You know, it could be anything from, from a heal effect, armor increase, or, or attack boost, etc. And it will be applied to you in game that you can use. And after the vote is over, uh, you know, the buff that gets the most votes will be applied to you and your current party in game. All right, so that's our current plan. Uh, basically, what we want to try to do is increase the engagement uh, between you and your viewers. We want you guys to both have fun, both while playing the game and watching you play the game. Um, but also, I would love to hear uh, what your feedback is. You know, I'm sure you have your great ideas as well, and I'm open to suggestions as well. Uh, my email is there on the screen that you see, m.tonke at datcroft.com. And please, please get in touch with me. Uh, we want to make sure that you have all the tools necessary to be successful, and, and that's what I'm here for. So please, please use that resource. Thank you very much. Marty, uh, apparently you've been kind of busy, you know, trying to figure out what, which way the game's going to be, well, basically <laughs> integrated with Twitch, isn't it? Yes, that's correct. Nice. That's correct. Nice. So we have this, you know, so to say, imminent connection between the game, between the community and between the streamers, so to say. So this magical triangle apparently is going to work like a charm because you guys really did a great job, you know, figuring out what people are doing during um, viewing the streams, uh, while streaming, and while playing the games. So you kind of incorporated all these three three things together into one, you know, super massive black hole. You know, kind of dragging <laughs> everyone inside into the game, into the community, into everything. When can we expect this game to be available for us to enjoy? Well, uh, there is no secret there. Our major plan is to deliver uh, first soft launch build by the end of September. So it's pretty close already. Uh, so it's like two weeks away? Yes. Yeah, I right. mean, what does it mean, the soft launch, from our perspective? Uh, it's a version that will be available only in a limited amount of countries, like one, one or two of them, yeah. actually. Yeah. But what is important that there will be a separate, not version, but let's say access point for streamers who want to cooperate with us and who want to be there from the day one. <laughs> so they will be able to start playing this game before anybody else. Because, like Marty described, all these features that we were developing, especially for the broadcasters. We want to have their feedback and we want you know, to cooperate really, really close with them. So that's why we are going to provide them access first Polish the game because because yeah <laughs> because, because yeah <laughs> because it's a game and it's yeah. an RPG you you can you you can't avoid problems really, really. Yeah. so we want to deliver the final version in a very good you know condition and everything and also with very good features for streamers like Marty said we have already a few of them getting ready to kick off but if you guys have any new ideas have some recommendations or some feedback on the features that we have talked about. Definitely we are waiting for them in order to improve everything in the game from the player's point of view, from the streamer's point of view and so on, to make it really something interesting.